So, I kind of created myself another cursed ship and I'm gonna talk with you about it in this video. Hey guys, my name's Rainby and in the previous video we talked with you about a backhead and how I like the movie. It was really, 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 really nice. I told you that I'm gonna make another video where I would just fangirl about the backhead because... Because! <laughs> you know, I'm a rational human being. Sometimes. <laughs> but then there were some moments when I see some monsters and I began to act exactly like that uh, guy from the TikTok about uh, Luxy. But yeah. Yeah. And uh, previously I had uh, kind of a crush on uh, Mira Mira from Crypto Universe and I was kind of hinting about it in the previous video when I talked about the backhead that we'll talk more about Crypto V in this video and we're gonna talk about it. And you know, my rational side is like backhead. She's kind of bad, and then my other part of the brain joins the party, yeah, and it's like in that uh, TikTok I wanted to make about Mira. I don't cook, I don't clean, but let me tell you. And then, you know, at first I saw Mira, and I was so backhead, and I'm like, yes, I do the cooking, yes, I do the cleaning, okay, whatever. <laughs> Why am I talking about it? Who knows? At the same time, I'm like, she's so cute, I want to make a costume of her, yeah, yeah. I even ordered some clothes off to make her outfit. Why? Who knows? <laughs> but I just wanted because she was something and I really really liked her and I was like yeah yeah yeah. I need it in my life and also I got tired with cosplay community in our Russian speaking sphere. It got really really toxic and I just want to try to recreate backhead kind of look well as best as I can just for fun. If it turns out bad who cares? And maybe film a few skits, silly silly skits about her because yeah, she was something and I want to talk about her and make a little bit more content with her because I liked her. And yeah, 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 now I'm kind of obsessed with her, so <laughs> here you go. This video is basically about it and also about her being bad. You know this phrase, there is no villains. There are just characters whose stories haven't been told to something like that. And one of the reasons that uh, Backhead can be considered bad is that she has this weird bond with the guardians and owners of the building in which basements uh, she's in that uh, if this guardian would try to get out of this building that accidents, disasters and uh, sickness would follow this guardian and that's how Iris' mom got sick but at the same time is it Backhead's fault? Not really! Those people signed the deed. That's on them! And also Backhead was once an average woman who, yeah, could revive her dead people, but uh, she was used because of it. And then she was tortured and killed. And yeah, then she came back from the dead and was seeking her revenge. And then she was put in the tomb. Then when they opened the tomb, she was once again abused and used by some brotherhood, you know, some dudes. And also this weird uh, brotherhood uh, created this guardian and uh, backhead bond to make backhead uh, someone slave? Well, technically yeah, forever and ever and ever and yeah. Like she's a real victim here. She was a prisoner for 400 years or something like that. And you know everything else that someone was killed by her and got sick and uh, got into an accident. That's collateral damage. That's not important. <laughs> the main thing is she is a victim. Like she's a bake. <laughs> And like jokes aside, but I think if I would find someone like that in my basement, I would like to say that uh, I would be a rational being, but you know me. I think I would just sit with her and like, let's chat, tell me about your previous guardians and maybe about stuff you did, what kind of people wanted uh, to speak with their loved ones, what kind of interesting stories there were. Well, technically, maybe I would revive one person, maybe, maybe, just because my grandparents died when I was little. I always wanted to know what would they think about me and and would they accept me? This kind of sad. But yeah, I would definitely be like, let's gossip. You're so cute, you're so interesting. But at the same time, maybe I would like uh, let her out. Yeah, I need to believe. 
in the best of people. I think I would be one of those characters who dies like in the first seconds of the movie. Let's talk about Iris. I talked about her in the previous video and I need to talk about her also here because Iris was a real, real, real annoying little brat and just imagine you're 400 years old and some, I don't know, 20-ish kid, like literally kid I'm your guardian, you should obey me Listen, I had some vibes from um, back here that she was kind of sassy in that moment I was thinking that she was like, oh really? I just thought that uh, through all this movie she was like this New Garden is so dumb. I almost killed her once. And now she's like, you should obey me. And also, come on, Iris also used the back head for some money. And we actually don't really know. Is it painful to eat some stuff and then like vomit it out? Some rinse maybe, but then at the end when uh, Neil was like, here you go, the phone. And also my mind was like, what else people gave her to swallow, to put inside her? Yikes. So yeah, Iris abused Backhead and then she wanted uh, this creature to be nice to her? Seriously? Also, I read a theory that uh, after the movie ended uh, when, you know, spoilers, Backhead got out of the basement and the whole building and the whole building was on fire finally. She went to find members uh, of uh, that brotherhood and also killed uh, them to be like finally finally free from this whole mess and that's a possibility and it would be nice for her and I was so glad to read uh, in some comments that uh, I wasn't the only one who was like good for her not that they were like oh no she went out no people were like good for her so yeah I'm not the only one, it's good to know <laughs> that I'm not the craziest one. And also, let's talk about another thing. A little writing of Iris. Do not cross on the step uh, of the staircase in the basement. I thought the backhead would be like, are you serious? And I really thought, well, before Iris said, do not get out of the basement, I was really thinking, especially because I saw the bucket there, that the backhead would be like uh, that um, king from old uh, US movie. She would scrub the step scene and I'm swabbing swabbing the step uh, not to be called uh, unemployed or something like that. Well, that's uh, our jokes and not sometimes jokes because uh, in our country we have a law about unemployed people. They need to pay more for electricity etc. Well, it's a weird law but it's what it is but no she left right in there i would really like to know what was going on inside of backhead mind when she saw this do not cross of course of course of course are you serious especially when we learned that she just could influence the key even and try to suffocate iris uh, through it she's powerful come on but i guess those words of iris worked because uh, when they went out of the basement uh, with Neil, they didn't close the door behind them and uh, Backhead uh, stayed there, so I guess it kind of worked, but more there was not the Don't Cross written with red color. Oh gosh. Also, let's talk about Neil. The same punk who was like, I want to be the guardian of you, Backhead. I would write my name on the deed to be your guardian. Basically, to use you forever. And yeah, he also got what he deserved. He was not a good person. And also, she was abused by men. And then a man comes and is like, be my servant forever. Go to hell, man. Go to hell. So as I said before, I was really glad that Backhead got out and uh, everyone got what they deserved. And also because I was on her side from the start. And speaking about uh, everyone got what uh, they deserved, I'm a sucker for happy endings. And I think one of her problems was that she was really, really lonely. Yeah, that's why I decided after watching, maybe she needs a friend. 
friend or something more. After she would find uh, all the Brotherhood guys and burn them or something like that, like they did to her. She could also have her happily ever after and find someone but like who? Ordinary human being? Mm, complicated. <laughs> and it would be more logical to find someone who can relate. Maybe some monster. And also, I was thinking about uh, have we ever had some monster couple who found uh, each other? Not like Frankenstein and his wife, and uh, Chucky and his wife. Oh, you know, like uh, Shelly with her boyfriend, because they were girlfriend and boyfriend before they became undead things. I don't think that we got a really really nice story when one broken soul was uh, trying to live their life and then they found another one. Maybe I'm wrong. Write down in the comments. Maybe I'm forgetting something or maybe I haven't watched something and it would be interesting for me to watch it. And also, have we had something like that with the fam slash o slash? So, listen me out. I was thinking about it and um, I kind of had one candidate. You know me. That's how how I watched uh, the movie Boy. I don't think a lot of people know, but I have a fanfic about Brahms with the male original character. And it was cute. Let's be honest, he won't ever be happy with any women because... Um, <laughs> He's kind of weird around them. So I thought, well, if it's not uh, women, maybe I should give him a guy. Also, because I like uh, Slash, and I gave him one character. It was kind of hilarious, because I like my comedy horror, and uh, there was one moment there. Brahms was his creepy self, and he was uh, taking some clothes for his alter... alter <laughs> in the basement or something like that and uh, the big brother of uh, this character was like put it back or I freaking end you <laughs> and then that uh, original character came out of the bathroom and just watched this scene when uh, his uh, older brother was like flowers and candies is good and being a creepy stalker and collecting people's clothes are not good it's not romantic I laughed a lot while I was uh, writing this stuff. I just thought it was hilarious. So, me being me, I thought this brotherhood who abused our backhead. I was thinking about maybe a good companion for her would be a girl. And I was thinking about who might it be? While watching it, I was like, I see similarities with one of the creatures, uh, with one of the monsters from Crypt TV universe, and it's Mira. And I have a crush on Mira. I really liked her character, especially after series. I talked about it in one of my videos. I never got the guys who was like, I want a woman to step on me, but after one scene I was like, Mm, I might get the appeal about Mira. I liked her when she was in that old uh, short film and her look there and also that look was uh, then in um, those drone creepypasta videos. But then we saw TV series and Mira kind of uh, possessed one of the girls and in the body of that girl she was so amazing, so incredible, so sassy and I liked every second of it. And then they showed us real appearance of Mira and they kind of upgraded it and I thought that this look was so so cute. Only one bummer was that uh, she wasn't speaking and I thought there was a flaw because I really liked that uh, in possessed uh, body Mira spoke a lot and uh, she was sassy and she was cool and incredible and I was like I want to see her talk more so maybe I'll stick with the latest uh, version of Mira but I let her speak because she was something gosh she was so cute so Mira I kind of low-key shipped her with that girl from one of the drone uh, creepypasta stories but you know it could be different from times and also some people move on and some accidents etc but here guys just imagine Mira and Backhead if you don't like it I even drawn a fan art to start this ship to give it a push forward and also about that girl that I shipped uh, Mira with you could say that uh, she was 
an assistant and kind of a bait sometimes. The girl was, go, <laughs> Mira, go! But at the same time, I don't think that uh, that bond was uh, like here, between Guardian and Backhead. It was okay. But no, let's talk about Mira and Backhead. I also wanted to make a cosplay of Mira once, and I even bought lenses for her and uh, Nightgown. And the first time I got it, it was like 100% see-through. The second one was a little bit better. <laughs> but in all seriousness, why I think that they would be a nice couple? Not because, you know, I just like one character and the second. What more do you need? No, I think they would be good for each other because they, like no one else, knows what lonely, what lonely, what loneliness, what loneliness is like, and what's it like to be a prisoner? Because when they put backhead in the tomb before they once again open it, etc. She was in the darkness, in that weird space, weird corridors for god know how long. And also about Mira. She lives uh, behind the mirrors. We once uh, saw that place and it was just darkness and uh, why I was drawn so much to Mira in the series when she was sitting on the floor and uh, all these kids were like I have problems with my mom some stupid stuff like that and she was crying and talking about you have it so easy my heart just broke a little bit because two souls that uh, were prisoners that uh, were supposed to stay in the dark for a long time and it's scary and uh, you can go mad in the whole darkness and even if you're a bad bad creature and I don't really think that they were bad to begin with. Mira, yeah she kind of wanted to kill everyone in the TV series but why? Because she wanted to get out, out of the darkness and uh, even before series, I liked her from those drone creepypasta videos because they showed us her a little bit more that uh, she is like guardian of those uh, kids who have some issues with their appearance that uh, get laughed at. Yeah, sometimes the way she does it is not really in the best interests uh, of uh, those kids, but you know, she who she is. And also Mira possessed a girl's body and pushed the body in the darkness she just you know swept their places you can say that uh, backhead uh, kind of uh, did the same with katie and that's how she wanted to get out and well she's the being who can take the appearance of people that uh, people try to revive from the dead and also about mira my fun girling of her before series was like here and after series it was like there <laughs> Oh my gosh. And also, as I said, two sassy characters. And also, I like my femme slash parents sometimes, so Mira, Backhead. For me, it's like meant to be. Because they both can change their appearance. They're both, well, in their real, real form, objectively unattractive. But they just don't care. Especially because the Mira is like a warrior for all people who get bullied because of their appearance. Like Mira would fight someone to death if someone would say something about uh, back hat appearance. And that's nice. That's cute. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts about cuteness are something sometimes. And also they're both old entities. I think they can relate to each other and to the things they suffered and it would be nice, it would be cute. So yeah, I now have a new head canon and it's so weird and I don't know what to do with it. But Mira and Backhead for me is like yeah, how can you not see it? See the appeal? Seriously, one cursed ship mod my collection. What's wrong with me? Who knows? <laughs> but if at the end of the day this stupid stuff makes me happy, is it really a big deal? So yeah, write down in the comments what are your cursed favorite ships and what do you think about Mira and uh, Backhead? Would they be a nice couple? What do you think? And if you would like uh, for me to talk more about my favorite cursed ships, let me know down in the comments and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to. <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> yeah, bye.